Hey everybody, it's Luke from Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Hard Outline. This is their K2 720p native resolution Pico projector at 3000 lumens. This is possibly one of the brightest projectors that I've tested to date. Now, Hard Outline has uh, asked me to do a pretty in depth technical review, so this one's going to be a little bit long. So grab your popcorn, we're going to get into it now. Okay, so this is the K2 projector and what you get in the box. You're of course going to get the unit itself here, uh, which is very well built and we'll get into that in a little bit. A basic remote control, I've got all your navigation functions here, zoom, home, back, 3D button. Uh, it is a 3D DLP projector, so if you have 3D enabled glasses, you can use those with this. Uh, so very nice uh, to have that function just right on the remote, but it is pretty basic, just to let you know. You're going to get your power brick here. This is a uh, power brick that has an input of 100 to 240 volts at 50 to 60 hertz at 2 amps. Output is 19 volts at 3.42 amps. So it is not uh, a big power brick, which is a good thing. Uh, it keeps this unit portable. There is also a 3300 milliamp built-in battery in the unit itself. You'll get about two hours of usage on that battery. They do give you a user manual here. It is all written in English. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it because this is an overall in-depth review. So I'm gonna go through all the stuff with you step-by-step. Step. Projection distance uh, up to 3.3 meters will get you about a 100 inch screen. Uh, you can actually go double that. So about six to 6.6 .6 meters will get you about a 200 inch screen on here. Uh, so just as a point of reference, hold on to this because uh, it's got some useful information in it. We'll get into some more tech specs in a second. Taking a look at the main unit, this is a solidly built unit. This unit is an aluminum a unibody shell. It's got a nice sliding lens cap on the front. Uh, the front and back panels are plastic, but the rest is all aluminum. Uh, on the right-hand side, you're going to see that you have an IR port as well for your remote control. On the back, we're gonna have all of our ports here. You're going to have your uh, DC input, a dedicated power button, a USB 2.0 port, a USB 3.0 port, a full HDMI port, a micro SD card slot, a VGA slash AV cable, which I did not get with my review unit, so I could not test that portion of it. A 3.5 millimeter audio jack for headphones or external speakers and a dedicated on and off switch. This also has uh, a jog wheel on the right hand side for a manual focus and it's filled with a ton of different features. This has a 3300 milliamp battery in it that will last you up to 120 minutes of playback time. Uh, you get about seven gigabytes of internal storage uh, then you can also add that SD card. You also get two gigabytes of RAM. It is a 3D enabled DLP projector, so you can watch 3D movies with appropriate glasses. So let's get into the live demonstration. So this is your main screen here, and I apologize, there's a little bit of banding. No matter how much I ch change my ISO or my shutter speed on my camera, the brightness on this particular uh, 3000 lumens uh, seems to be interfering with my camera a little bit, so I do apologize for the banding. On the front page here, you're going to see uh, YouTube, Twitter, Amazon, a browser, Facebook, full access to the Google Play Store, which is a huge one. Having full access to the Google Play Store is an excellent, excellent thing. You can pretty much install whatever you would like uh, to this device and run it just like you would your phone or your tablet. HDMI inputs under multimedia, VGA and AV. Again, I don't have the cable for that. Did not come with my uh, review unit, so I couldn't test the VGA or the AV. Uh, but if you want to plug in, say, a uh, PS4 or an Xbox One to the HDMI cable, you can totally do that, no problem. Local media, ES File Explorer, HappyCast and MirrorCast for casting your devices such as your mobile phone or tablet directly to this projector. Taking a look at App Center, App Store will take you again to the Play Store. Uh, I can't stress how important that is to have access to the Play Store. Uh, Amazon Video, Facebook, Google Settings, Happycast, 
uh, again, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Office Suite, which is uh, one that's important. Uh, you'll be able to actually uh, view uh, Word documents, Excel documents, PDF files, uh, and this projector is bright enough that that will actually work out very well uh, for Office documents. Uh, some LED or cheaper LED projectors uh, will not be able to uh, accurately show you uh, Office documents and small print and stuff like that because it's just not bright enough. Under settings, we've got a ton of different settings that we're going over here, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, application settings, video settings, audio settings, language, uh, DLP. Let's start with Wi-Fi here. Uh, I am connected, my status is uh, connected there. Wi-Fi, you can see uh, also your proxy. You can uh, set up a proxy on this, which is excellent. Wi-Fi Direct, you can set this up as a Wi-Fi hotspot, as you'll see your SSID uh, is set up there. Uh, and you can configure that. So you can use this as a Wi-Fi hotspot, which is awesome. And at the bottom, you do have location services, which are uh, set up there for Google services. Bluetooth is also included in this, which is excellent as well. Uh, so you can set up Bluetooth speakers, uh, a Bluetooth keyboard, or a mouse for navigation. Uh, Bluetooth speakers would work really well here. You can see uh, that we have a few devices on here already. Again, this was a review unit. Uh, whoever Todd was, he had this before me, and Todd's iPhone was connected to this. A Nokia Play 360 uh, was also connected to this. So it's always excellent to have a Bluetooth enabled device. Going back to applications, we can check out settings, uh, install applications from the App Store, all applications, and of course your SD card should you have one installed. You'll see the internal storage space there is also listed, uh, used is 701 megabytes, total is 6.11 gigabytes. So you get 6.11 gigabytes of total storage space for your applications, but you can always bolster that with an SD card. And you do have two gigabytes of RAM. If I did not uh, tell you that beforehand, uh, that's on there as well. Uh, and you'll see that a little bit later. Going into video settings, we can set the brightness higher than it already is. It's at 65. Uh, your contrast, saturation, and sharpness are also there. Uh, so this can go uh, another 35%. Uh, your audio, you can set your high pitch, low pitch, and audio balance as well. Um, in language, we've got a bunch of different language settings here that we can check out. Uh, obviously, I've got mine on English, but there are several other ones that are pre-installed on this. Now, if you haven't noticed, this is an Android-based uh, DLP projector with a totally skinned uh, top to it. Uh, you don't really have any access to direct Android menus like on some players, but they did a really, really good job on this uh, as far as uh, the skin goes. DLP projection settings, you have gyro horizon, you have auto keystone so that it will automatically do it, or you can manually set the keystone correction as well, digital zoom, mounting, this will switch it so that if you wanna mount this upside down somewhere, you can. Uh, but that gyro horizon is a different uh, beast altogether because what you've got is uh, if you click it, set it on a uh, flat surface there, uh, and then hit the OK button, it will set your gyro. And then if you actually flip the entire unit over in your hand, it will flip the image over as well. So there's a gyro in there. Color temperatures, warm, cool, and standard. Brightness modes, a movie, energy saving, and standard as well. Again, this is at 65% brightness, and this is so bright with 3000 lumens. You have uh, your system updates, system information, and restore to factory defaults in here. Uh, you can check for system information. Uh, you'll give your version, your time, uh, your uh, MAC addresses, and your memory information again. Uh, you've got a total of two gigabytes of memory there. So uh, interesting information that they do give you. Uh, system updates, you can check over the internet, and I did check uh, for mine. You can also do uh, firmware updates. And my uh, system is running, or this particular system is running the newest update uh, that I checked for over the internet. So OTA updates work on this as well. Other settings here, we've got a couple different things. We've got wallpaper. They've got a bunch of built-in wallpapers you can use uh, if you'd like to change it. 
from the default one. You probably can add other ones as well uh, if you would like. Uh, but I'm just going to select a uh, space themed icon here. You've got touch sound effects on or off, visible passwords on or off, power on mode, standby or direct. Uh, you can have launcher mode to launcher or source. So it'll just go to uh, you know your source or the launcher itself. And I just leave it on launcher because I like to have all of that. About, your model is 8S31. Your system version is listed there. Uh, memory information is listed again. System verified. Uh, system temperature is there. And I'm assuming that's going to be in Celsius, 39.3 degrees. So overall, you've got a ton of things packed in here. I'm going to set up a local file for you and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got a USB stick inserted in the back of the unit and we're gonna play an MP4 file in 1080p resolution. So we're gonna scroll down to my MP4 player and this is just a video of me playing Guild Wars 2. Uh, and as you can see, the colors are just excellent on this. Uh, it is overall, just the brightness is so good. I have to really tip my hat to Hard Outline for this DLP projector. Definitely one of the brightest that I've ever tested. You can see that the uh, footage looks absolutely beautiful. So if you wanted to hook up a uh, Xbox or a PS4 to this via HDMI cable, you're going to have an awesome time playing video games on this. Fast forwarding and rewinding is instantaneous, as you can see there, uh, no problems at all with uh, fast forwarding. Just super great response, even off a USB stick. Uh, another thing that you can do is uh, your 3D conversion here. You can set it to auto. This is a 3D DLP projector. So if you have glasses, you can watch your videos in 3D. You can convert 3D to 2D. Uh, since this isn't a 3D video, we're not gonna do too much with that. If you hit information, you're gonna get your information bar here. You can fast forward, rewind, pause. Uh, go to next uh, videos or previous videos, uh, information about the clip that you're playing. This is an MP4 file at H.264 video codec AAC for the uh, audio. And speaking of audio, it does have a one uh, speaker on the bottom that fires here. And it does a pretty good job. Uh, the fan noise is almost nothing because it's such a slim design. Uh, on this DLP projector. Uh, so the uh, speaker does a good job. In full brightness, as you can see, now this is with every light on in the room, I can still play uh, and I can still read the text. Uh, and this is great, this is at 65% brightness. Now if I was to jump this up to 100% brightness, it would be perfect. Even in a full lit room, you're gonna be able to play games, watch movies uh, and do whatever, read the text on the screen, uh, just an awesome, awesome display uh, from this particular projector. So overall, uh, this is definitely a uh, one of the most quality DLP projectors that I've tested uh, as far as just the reproduction of the colors, the brightness, the amount of inputs, the fact that it's built on Android, that you have full access to the Play Store, YouTube, uh, all your Google services, uh, Amazon, anything that you want to add from the Play Store, you can add on here. Uh, they did a really, really good job on this player. Now, the price on this player, which I may not have mentioned before, this is a $400 player. Is it worth it? In my opinion, with all of the projectors that I've actually uh, reviewed, yes. This is worth the price tag. If you're looking for something to be the centerpiece of your home theater, this is definitely one to go for, or at least put on your list to research. Uh, overall, I had a great experience reviewing this. Uh, again, sorry about the small banding problems there, uh, but uh, you have access again to the Play Store. So if I want to go in and I want to add, say, Google Chrome uh, or something else to this, I can do that, no problem. I'll just go to Google Chrome here and I will install it uh, or you know, go to the page and install it and it will have an install button there for me. As you can see, uh, works with this device, no problem. Uh, I haven't really found any incompatibilities uh, with this device and uh, certain applications like you find on other ones as well. So there you have it. That's the Hard Outline 720p DLP 3D projector. 
This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I was totally blown away by the quality of this projector. Again, it's about $400. You can pick it up uh, in the links below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video. Oh, Sunday.